sexy, Psst, browning. And I'm like, whew. I mean, I know I felt good this morning, but damn, right? So I keep strutting. So you know, NCV Nutswood Boulevard have some steps. So I'm start step. So the whole of my back is facing Nutswood Boulevard. And you know, I thought to myself, it's December. It felt a little breezy. But I thought nothing of it. So I keep stepping. And I walk into the lobby and even the women are smiling at me and staring. She says, boy, ooh, today is a good day. So I'm standing in the teller line and I feel a tap on my shoulder. And I said, yes, at least one brave male soul has decided he's going to put some talk to me to death. So he comes up to me and taps me on the shoulder and I turn around. Turns out it was somebody I know. I know him by Eddie, but his real name is Andrew Edwards. If anybody knows Andrew Edwards. So he taps me on the shoulder and I turn around to give him whoop, to give him a big, big hug and him stop me right dead in my tracks. I put his hand on my shoulder and oh so gently leans over to me and oh so politely softly whispers in my ear and says, Sarah, your skirt split up all the way to your body. <laughs> God is my witness. I swear to God, I froze for what felt like hours. And when I came to, I took both my hands, put them around the back, because it couldn't be as bad as he says it was. Because somebody must have said something to me before. So I take my hands and I put them around. And all I feel is so sabati. So so skin, no panty, no baggy, no spanks, just so so skin. When I say the skirt split, like all the way up mid, middle of my bottom, you know. And I thought to myself, oh Lord, what am I going to do? So the only thing I could think of was to take my handbag, thank God I carry big handbags, and put it around my back and figure out the most diplomatic way to walk back down the stairs of NCB Nutsford Boulevard, across Nutsford Boulevard, by all the people that were just standing and browning and sexy without being completely and totally embarrassed. I figured it out, but again, ladies, the moral of this story, no matter what time of year, Christmas breeze isn't always Christmas breeze. Thank you. Wow.